From the book Alatra Rigdon So, what is the soul? As I have said before, the soul is a true antimatter, a particle from the outside, from the spiritual world, the world of God. The soul is a constituent only of the human being. It is his main potential, a portal and a direct connection of each person with the spiritual world. It is not present in plants or animals or any other matter, including intelligent matter. The soul enters the emerging energy structure of the human being on the eighth day after the birth of the physical body of a newborn baby. If we take the structure of the physical body, then the approximate location of the soul is in the area of the solar plexus, that is, the actual center of a human. Yet the soul is neither the solar plexus, nor the heart, nor any other physical organ or system, including the brain, the mind, consciousness, thinking, intellect, or mental abilities. Everything mentioned above is neither a product nor a characteristic of the soul. All this applies to the material world. Surgical removal, transplantation of various organs of the physical body, for example, the heart, or blood transfusion, have nothing to do with the soul. I emphasize that it is located in the energy structure of the human being and not in the physical part of this structure. Each human being has one soul. It is single and indivisible. There is no difference between the soul of a man or a woman. The soul has no gender. Souls of all people are identical in their nature. And in this sense, you can say that people are very close and kindred to each other. The soul is not matter. It does not wear out. It does not get old or sick. It is perfect in relation to the material world. But it is not sufficiently individually perfect in relation to the world of God. As a result of repeated reincarnations in the material world, the soul is burdened with information shells. What is the human being? During lifetime, the human being represents a multidimensional, spatial object which is built around the soul and which has its own intelligent personality. The usual shape and the structure of the physical body, which is visible to the eye, together with its physical and chemical processes, as well as control system, including the material brain, is only a part of the overall human structure which relates to the three-dimensional space. In other words, the human being consists of a soul with its information shells, a personality, and a structure that is made up of, say, various fields of other dimensions, including the physical body, which is located in three-dimensional space. As I have already said, human is something far greater than just matter. In his structure, he is very complex, not only at the physical level, but also at the level of energy. Observing humans' physical structure, even with modern equipment, we can see only the part of its construction, which exists in three dimensions. Moreover, if we consider the overall structure of human, the most of whose construction relates to the invisible world, 
we can find that at the physical level it has a much weaker protection than at the level of subtle energies. The overall structure of human is designed in this way so that the soul is protected better than the body. The body is just an additional removable material shell created for certain conditions of existence in the universe. In the geometry of the three-dimensional space, it is temporary and mortal. It is a kind of a bio-machine controlled by the personality, in other words, by the one who is constantly making choices reflected in the events of his life, as well as his spiritual development in general. Changing bodies during the reincarnation is like a renewal of this additional outer shell. Figuratively speaking, it is like regeneration of skin in the physical body or a change of clothes in everyday life. Naturally, interaction and various processes of the exchange of energy and information take place between the physical and the energy parts of human structure. Everything in the world is interconnected. The world is multidimensional and has different parallels. Human in the invisible world is an informationally complex, space-oriented entity that exists consistently in six dimensions simultaneously. It is difficult for a modern person to understand. But I hope that with the development of qualitatively new physics and biophysics, science will discover this fact as well. Human steadily and simultaneously exists in six dimensions that constantly influence each other. But a human has a chance during his life to unite his personality with the soul, to gain spiritual maturity and escape into the seventh dimension, nirvana, heaven. That is, to achieve spiritual liberation and even to know higher dimensions, if he wishes to. What is an intelligent personality? A new personality is formed in a new structure, a new body. The personality is who every person perceives himself to be during his lifetime, the one who makes the choice between the spiritual and the animal natures, who analyzes, draws conclusions, and accumulates personal baggage of sensory and emotional dominance. If a person develops spiritually during his life to such an extent that his personality merges with the soul, then a qualitatively new, mature being is formed. It is different from the human being, and it lives for the spiritual world. In fact, this is what is called the liberation of the soul from the captivity of the material world. Passing into nirvana, attainment of holiness, and so on. Otherwise, if in the course of human life such merging does not happen, then after the death of the physical body and the destruction of the energy structure, this intelligent personality, together with the soul, goes to a rebirth, reincarnation, turning into, let's call it thus for convenience, in order to understand the gist, a subpersonality. When the physical body dies, the human being continues its existence. In the state of transition, it has a spherical form with spiral structures. The soul, together with its information shells, is enclosed in this formation. The information shells are subpersonalities from previous incarnations, including the personality from the recent life. Information shells, which are located around the soul, are sensory and emotional bundles, more specifically an intelligent information structure that can associatively be compared to a kind of nebula. 
To put it simply, these are former personalities from previous incarnations. There can be many of such subpersonalities near the soul, depending on how many times the person has reincarnated. In the photo from the book Alatra, we can see the human soul in the state of transition after the death of the physical body. In the picture of the soul, you can clearly see the edge shell. It consists, when going deeper towards the sphere, of red color, the remainder of life energy, prana, as well as of yellow and whitish yellow colors of other energies. The spherical form itself is sky blue with shades of light green. It has a distinctive spiral structure, which is twisted towards the center and which has rainbow hues and white specks. Photo from the book Alatra. The human soul disappearing from the material world during the process of transition.